When you hear the word viral, viral, in the information matrix we all live in, that usually means something trivial, in our opinion. It's usually something stupid, funny, or tragic, uh, or something, you know, maybe a weather that's not so trivial. But uh, while it's not impossible, most truly good ideas or good mindsets never really go viral to the same extent. Why is that? Hey there, njroot22.com here with another vlog, a general interest vlog today, and it's about good ideas and good topics and why they don't go viral in the same way that other popular things go. And we said in our intro that uh, things that usually go popular are easy uh, or trivial or funny or, or something silly. Um, and it's like, uh, I'll give you an example here, like, the, like low carb or carnivore living is making people healthy. Whoever finds this, like through the weeds of, of the information matrix, I like to call it, they find it and they, and they, they make incredible progress and, and regain their health. They, they just pretty much save tons of money, they're healthy, they're happy, they're active, they don't have pain. I mean, it, it, the benefits are outrageous but um, and there's tons of evidence for this too and like and, and the people that 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 you know succeed like ourselves we we don't seem to get traction out there in the world the people don't want to hear about it or it's not being allowed out there into the uh, into the field um, I don't know the same thing goes for like like living a frugal life and saving your money and, and, and being wise about how you, how you spend versus consumerism and commercialism and overconsumption. Um, people are always being marketed and peddled things and they, and they end up falling victim to this. And that whole frugality mindset of saving money and building a nest egg, it doesn't seem to take off. Um, of course, there's other economic issues, you know, like where people don't have enough money and they, they're depressed and they need to buy something to make themselves happy. I guess saving money and building a nest egg doesn't, it requires too much effort and it, it's, it's just no fun. I guess things that are no fun and require hard work, hard work or deep thought don't take off. So another thing I think uh, one of the reasons why things go viral is because usually there's someone... Uh, that can gain from it financially most of the time or, or you know, gaining popularity, which in turn uh, results in financial um, benefits. And, and it, like, for instance, one of the things is gluten-free or the plant-based phenomenon. Um, they're not really good for the people and the gluten-free is just way, way uh, overhyped. There's like, like a very small percentage of people that are celiac or, or gluten intolerant. Yet you have entire aisles of uh, products that are gluten-free because people think gluten-free sounds good. Oh, it's gluten-free. I can eat as much as I want. Um, so those things that go viral a lot of times, while they may have some minor benefit, there's never a profound benefit to humanity in it, but the benefit in reality is it for the companies that are taking advantage of that trending thing. And I really think here that one of the main obstacles why common sense doesn't take the world by st storm is truly up here. It's, it's psychological. And I think marketing companies and, and businesses to tap into the human ego of emotion and um, that always beats logic and common sense. They figured out ways to tap into uh, the part of the human brain that allows you to bypass common sense. Like, do I need the latest iPhone? Um, I, I, I really don't have a lot of money, but I mean, I have the iPhone 9 or 8 or whatever it was. And do I need to get the iPhone 11 Pro? Um, and they make it seem like you need to have it. And of course, Apple's weird in that way. They, they just make their phones not work anymore and they become annoying to use. And they, you get like a, a month of happiness with your new phone before it starts having the same problems and the next iPhone 27 comes out. So it, it's all emotional, uh, this whole thing. But I, I'm really, really upset about why good ideas 
don't go viral. Like, and I'm talking more about like the old school way of doing things, like with a long form conversation and, and talking about ideas, not just in one second or one afternoon or evening or one day. Uh, good ideas uh, in the past always took a long time to, to evolve and um, like philosophy and politics, I mean, decades, I mean, centuries, like, like people were talking about ideas uh, through multiple generations and they, were dis they would have discussions and, and, and good discourse between people about, about ideas and they'd go back into their little world and then they'd come back and, and with new information and, and rediscuss it. And uh, those, I can't find anybody anymore that I, uh, that's willing to have like a philosophical, non, um, you know, superficial conversation with me anymore. Um, it's all about consumerism or, or celebrity or some sort of uh, pop culture type thing. And that's uh, kind of disappointing. Um, that's why we don't really have too many people we like anymore. I mean, they're, they're really bores. Oh, did you hear about Kim Kardashian? Or, or somebody that you would read on people.com, which is just a propaganda outlet to, to popularize like certain people that are paying into the system. Um, every now and then they'll throw something interesting in there that's real just to give them credibility. But the, overall, it's, it's a bunch of garbage. Um, I mean, most people are simple minded these days and that's uh, very frustrating to people like us and especially also the short conversations everybody's having on social media, one sentence here, there, emojis, thumbs up and, and like I think I mentioned this the other day about the greeting cards. I, I mentioned on my uh, blog, uh, njroot22.com in case you didn't know uh, about how greeting cards uh, stores are falling off. Not all of them. I mean, Hallmark will be around forever, I believe. But no one really puts any effort into it anymore. They, they can easily get reminded when they wake up in the morning, hey, it's Bob's birthday. Happy birthday, big guy. How's the 50s treating you? And they're done. It takes 10 seconds of effort. And then they're, they're on, on to thinking about something else. But I really wish that good ideas and, and people you know, with strong minds could, could be as viral as the stupid cat videos and people falling off a bridge or something like that. But I think we're looking in the wrong place. We don't really have the wherewithal right now to, or the capability to go and find people like that. And it's really not that big of a deal when, when you have a family and you have other things to worry about. But it certainly would be nice to have more people in your general daily activities that, that had more interesting minds and conversational abilities, especially online too. I mean, I, I, I'm getting crap traffic on this website or, and blog or vlog YouTube channel. And it's, it's frustrating because I know there's people out there. I just don't know how to find them. They make it very difficult to find. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe and bell and all that. That would really help me out a lot. Um, I'm, I'm going to set up some Patreon and all this other stuff to maybe we can get some momentum here. Maybe I can hire a staff and get better filming uh, studios and so on. Like, that's it. Have a nice day.